Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You might have wondered about seeing the light behind fireflies. Some of you would have even searched for it. Well, let me tell you the reason for those who don't know. Fireflies have a certain light emitting pigment. These pigments emit light after a few chemical reactions. Are you wondering why we're talking about fireflies now? The phenomenon by which light is emitted due to the chemical reactions is attributed to a property known as chemiluminescence. This is the principle used for measuring the emissions of NOx in the exhaust. This video is about a chemiluminescence analyzer, a device used for measuring the NOx emissions from vehicles and industries. In this video, we will discuss the principle, construction, and operation of the chemiluminescence analyzer. As mentioned earlier, the analyzer works on the principle of chemiluminescence. But how does that occur? When nitric oxides react with ozone, it produces excited nitrous oxides. These excited molecules of nitrous oxides return to their original state after emitting photons. The intensity of the photons released is proportional to the concentration of the nitric oxide. That is, as the number of NO molecules increases, the intensity of light produced also increases. Hence, the amount of NOx emissions can be calculated by measuring the intensity of light produced. When it comes to construction, a chemiluminescence analyzer consists of a converter, an ozone generator, a three-way solenoid wall, a reaction chamber, and a photomultiplier tube. Let's discuss these components one by one. As we discussed, the reaction takes place between NO and ozone. Therefore, it is necessary to convert all NOx in the sample to NO so that the reactions can occur. These were first done by heating the sample at high temperatures. This converts all NO2 in the sample into NO. But this high temperature favors conversion of other nitrogen molecules like ammonia, resulting in unwanted interference in the results. In order to avoid this, converters are used. The converters are made of either steel or molybdenum. Here the conversion takes place at low temperatures, but the converters should be replaced periodically. Then there is an ozone generator. The function of the ozone generator is to produce ozone. Oxygen is supplied to the ozone generator and a high electric voltage is applied to it. The high voltage favors the formation of ozone. Then, we have a three-way solenoid valve. One side of the valve receives the input sample gas. Of the other two sides of the solenoid valve, one is connected to the converter and the other is connected to the reaction chamber. The valve switches for every 10 to 15 seconds for supplying the sample directly into the chamber and the converter alternatively. Then, we have the reaction chamber, the place where the chemiluminescence reaction takes place. Next to that, there is a photomultiplier tube which detects the light and converts it into an equivalent electric signal. Now, let us see how this works. Air is let inside the ozone generator and high voltage is supplied to it. Thus, ozone is generated. At the same time, a sample of the exhaust gas to be tested is let inside the converter. The converter converts all the oxides of nitrogen into NO. Then, both the NO and ozone are sent to the reaction chamber. These molecules combine together to form photons. The photomultiplier tube detects the photons and converts them into electric signals. Thus, the reading gives the whole concentration of oxides of nitrogen. But how does one know the concentration of NOx and NO2 separately? For this, the solenoid switches its output and sends the sample gas directly into the reaction chamber. During this time, only the NO molecules react with ozone and get measured. This gives us the concentration of NO. The difference between these two readings gives the amount of NO2 present in the sample. Thus, this analyzer helps in measuring the emissions of oxides of nitrogen. Chemiluminescence analyzer can be used for continuous monitoring of the exhaust as it is rapid and accurate. That's all about the chemiluminescence analyzer. Wait for more interesting videos in the upcoming days. Until then, bye!